Hey you guys, I am thrilled to let you guys know that we're okay. We're better than okay, we're blessed. Thankfully, the storm turned north just in the nick of time to avoid hitting us. Now the storm did affect Florida a little bit, but thankfully it was just the outer edges and the outer bands of the hurricane. Now we did have some pretty good wind and storms come through via the outer bands. Um, we did have some down branches, um, some of the fruit trees out at the pasture had a couple broken snap branches. Thankfully though, nothing extensive. But we could have fared so much worse. Looking at the damages that are coming to light in the Bahamas, it, it breaks my heart. I, there was one, one news outlet was interviewing this poor man who had watched his wife drown in front of him and there was nothing he could do about it. And I just couldn't imagine going through that. Like you think about it, that could have very easily, very easily been us. That storm could, if it would have continued forward at a category five and not stopped, Florida could have very well looked as the Bahamas does. Today, we're just kind of spending the day getting things unpacked out of the shed, getting them brought out to where they are again, getting the plants out of the house, getting the goats, the chickens, the ducks, getting them back out to pasture, getting the fence up, and just making sure that everyone, and just making sure everyone's back where they need to be. There was one point though when we were out at the pasture and we heard about it becoming a category five and seeing those first images of the Bahamas and the kind of destruction that that storm had brought, we were scared because at that point there was no telling where that storm was going ultimately. There have been countless times in the past where meteorologists have calculated that this was the trajectory of the storm and it ended up going a completely different route and the consequences are devastating because while these meteorologists are looking at all the facts and all of the systems around the storms and they are educated guesses that's all they are they're guesses and if there's one thing that I know as a person who lives in Florida who experiences these hurricanes they're unpredictable and you never truly know where they're going. So at one point, after seeing everything, after seeing where the storm was and hearing that it had become a Category 5 just a couple hundred miles off of our coast, that was scary. And It's kind of this weird feeling of not knowing what's going to happen because you don't know what's gonna happen. And while we were out at the pasture, making sure our animals were set up in a way that would give them the best chance of survival, I almost had to question myself, am I going to come back to this pasture in a couple days after the storm has blown over and are my animals gonna be okay? And that was scary. It was really scary. But I am so glad that the storm tor turned north. And it was crazy what the storm did. And just all the more confirmed the fact that these storms are so unpredictable. The storm stopped. It stalled out over top of the Bahamas for over 24 hours going nowhere, just literally at a standstill. In, now, granted, I haven't been on this earth for that long, I'm only 28 years old, but I have never heard of a hurricane coming to a complete and total standstill over an island. That just, that just, that blows my mind how that could even happen because that just that just doesn't, given that the systems and everything that the meteorologists were showing was going on around the systems around the hurricane, it just doesn't even make any sense how it would stop like that. But thankfully it did eventually move on and it went north and it did not continue its straight trajectory. 
it went off on the path that they had thought that it would go after several changes. It went north and it did not come over us. My, my, my thoughts and prayers go out to the people of the Bahamas. Because I couldn't imagine going through the things that they're going through right now. I've heard some horrible stories. The pictures are just mind-blowing at the devastation of the islands. And they're in our prayers. <laughs>